up, AB gang? It's your favorite man, babe. I hope you guys are ready to hang because I am back with another shebang. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I'm not in my same scenery like I'm always. You know, I'm always on my futon couch, but I'm currently moving right now. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. I have a lot of stuff on my couch, but my walls are literally empty, you guys. It looks so plain. But this is still there. And then my pictures on this side are actually gone. But I just have to finish up this wall. I'll show y'all the progress. If you guys want that vlog of me moving out, just drop that down in the comments below. And I'll give y'all exactly what y'all looking for. So today, as you guys can see by the title, this was actually another requested video. I was on live a couple days ago. I get on live typically every day now. So I got on live, was it yesterday? Oh, it may have been yesterday. So I got on live and um, I was asking like suggestions for like videos and somebody said <laughs> daily vlogs. Now I really can't do daily vlogs because I don't really do much. I just do school from home, my business from home and YouTube from home. So it's like, it's not much I really do, but uh, I am going home next week. So I will be doing more. Literally, I'll be giving y'all daily vlogs because I'm going to be doing something. Like, I'm going to do my work in the morning and then the afternoons are basically to me. I'm going to be working as well. But that's not going to stop me from giving y'all the content that y'all want. The pranks are going to be on the way because I actually have family members that I'll be living with. And I can prank them. So that's amazing. But anyways, less of that, let's get into this topic. So... When I was on live, one of the topics were uh, my experience at FAMU so far. If you guys don't know, I am a third year at uh, FAMU, Florida A&M University, and, uh, which is located in Tallahassee, and it is an HBCU, one of the top HBCUs, and uh, my major is criminal justice. So, ooh, let me see where to start. Most people, like when you guys hear of FAMU, you think of, oh my gosh, that's a party school. Listen, don't get me wrong. It is, oh my gosh, being a party school is an, under, like, is an understatement because we literally have parties every day. Literally every day, there's something going on. You'll think like, it's Monday, you got school. No, honey. People have socials. They have gatherings. You got parties, like club parties. Tuesdays is Taco Tuesday at Cancun. You got fly. You got everything. Like you have a lot of stuff. There's never really nothing to do, but I'm not going to say that is always going to be enjoyable now cancun's in top flight is always enjoyable you know you can never enjoyable you can never really like get tired of those two three places but bajas which is a club and other clubs like that you get tired of it because it's basically the same stuff you see the same people the spirit the experiences are always the same to be honest unless you're in the booth when then then that's like vip so it's like you get to have fun because you're kind of like isolated. You're kind of like a little bit up high than other everybody else. So, I'll say that. But um, overall, it is a party school. And you, have, you don't really have to have your shoulders on your body. Like, when I mean like, I mean like, have your shit in a bunch is what I mean. But when you get here, you have to have self-discipline. And if you don't have it, you have to like learn how to. In a short period of time because you really get like a grace period if you don't have self-discipline this school will run you over i've seen several of people from my class literally we all come in together and a lot of us a lot of them aren't here now it's either they have better experiences or this school was just not for them so when you come here like when i came here my freshman year um i didn't know what to expect um I had I heard a lot of rumors and stuff like not to go to Q socials and stuff like that. Of course, me I have to test everything out myself. Like somebody can tell me not to do it, but I got to do it myself to see if that's really true. That's just me. I'm a hard head. So um, when I first got here, I was partying out the ass. Literally, I was partying every day. I was partying only at least four times a week, mind you. I was still doing school. You gotta have your priorities together. I would party, get home like three something in the morning and I would wake up like eight o'clock because I had a seven o'clock, I had an eight o'clock class. So I had to get up at seven o'clock in the morning. Guess what? I got my ass up, right up, got ready for class with the rest of my roommates because we, two of my roommates, we had the same class, like we had some of the same classes because my personal roommate that was in my room, our major was the same, which was awesome because we took the same classes together. But she was a grade higher than me. She's a senior now and I'm a junior. So, um... 
we would literally party all the time weekends fridays oh my gosh we would literally hit like two three parties in one day like it would be crazy so like when you first get here you're gonna want to party get it on out your system but my sophomore year i slowed down on partying like literally slowed down slowed on like i started focusing on school my sophomore year was one of my hardest years and shit started getting tough and you know sophomore year like usually in high school your sophomore year is like a laid back year your junior year is oh you got to get back right because senior year you don't want to have to do too much that's exactly the opposite so my sophomore year was crazy as hell i don't know if everybody else sophomore year was crazy but my sophomore year fall and spring was crazy absolute crazy so um i had a lot of adjustments to do and i wasn't gonna give up and sophomore year when i came back in a lot of my friends that were here freshman year they didn't come back sophomore year but due to like personal issues and personal problems or financial problems and stuff like that because it does happen so um yeah it was kind of rough and kind of difficult a little bit just a tad bit but i was stressed out because my sophomore year was the year uh if you guys haven't seen this video it all um i almost went in, almost in a year like almost a year without seeing my parents so if you haven't seen that vlog you gotta go watch that vlog i went nine months without seeing my parents i literally missed thanksgiving um christmas new year's my dad's birthday i missed everything literally everything i miss everything and i was so sad and i was depressed but my mom and dad came through for christmas and sent me some uggs and sent me a lot of a lot of goodies and a care package so that kind of made me feel like a little bit of heartwarming but i still was like really depressed because i will just i'm family oriented so i like being my mark i love being around my family so any chance i get to go home you know i'm there so that kind of hurt me just a tad bit so i was dealing with that and then um hold on let me put this behind my ear because this hair is gonna piss me off i was dealing with that and then i also my hair looks stupid let me stop <laughs> i guess I'm, my head don't want to do that i mean i could put it all the way behind my ear oh no i got monkey ears <laughs> All right, let me stop. Let me stop. See, I get easily distracted. But anyway, so it was that or whatever. To my coming into my junior year, um, I'm literally like, I'm a homebody. I'm always in the house. I hardly go places. I go places like probably like twice a month. But like, I love my being in my house. Like, I just I love being to myself. Um, college has taught me a lot of stuff. And if you guys knew me, like, in high school, I was very childish and always in drama and stuff like that. And then I literally changed completely, like, changed completely once I got to college. Like, I became more to myself, less in drama. Like, I'm not in drama at all anymore. I literally mind my business. I don't speak on anything. I don't talk about people. I talk about myself and my own issues because I'm not perfect. So, I have no room to talk about anybody else. So um yeah like i'm just to myself and even my family they'll tell you like i hardly come home because i feel like west palm beach is very toxic and like the people there some of the people i'm not gonna say all the people but it's like they're in competition with one another and i just can't sur be surrounded around the bad energy the bad vibes so i just rather be by myself it's also like that up here but it's controllable you just be to yourself and you straight you know you can walk around and not know people not speak and stuff but when you at your crib like you gonna you gonna see you gonna see people you know like it's really kind of difficult to run into somebody you don't know because you gonna run into people you know so it's kind of hard so if you can get out like if you don't want to like f start off at a university i'm sorry for like thrusting my hair a lot i play my hair so much but if you don't want to start off at a university i suggest you start off at a state college but not in your hometown go somewhere else where go into a college town go into an environment where you know all the kids around you are there in school as well so it kind of motivates you to not be off track or to sidetrack you or to distract you you know you want to stay focused um you don't necessarily have to go to a university your first two years because you're basically going to be taking core classes unless your major is like nursing or like pharmacy you got to take pre-reds stuff like that so i will 
suggest for you to start off at a state college to do your core classes and then once you get actually into your major which is typically like the end of your sophomore year beginning of your junior year that's when i will tell you to enroll into a university because some some state colleges don't offer your uh core class like well not your core classes but your pre-med classes um pre-rec class i'm talking about pre-med pre-rec classes uh for your major um when you get up here when you get to college don't come up here trying to be stank and you know a bougie be like heartwarming be interactive because i'm telling you me bruh the people i've met so far it's a couple people that i don't talk to anymore but it is so good to know people because you don't know who that person knows you don't know what they know you don't know what they do for a living you don't know what doors they can open up for you so come up here and interact well go and whatever just interact with people talk to people make friends you know find your little group of friends that you have a lot in common with you're not gonna be friends with everybody and that's okay but as long as you guys can be cordial around each other that's perfectly fine but just find your little group of friends and you know just Hang it out. Like, my friends are literally my roommates from my freshman year. And a lot of people say that when you come up here, you're not friends with your fr your um, roommates from your freshman year. That is a lie. I have the coolest roommates I could ever ask for. Like, we didn't bump heads at all. Like, none. We didn't bump heads at all. Like, it was just cool vibes. I wish I was still living with them. I'm living with one of them. But I'm just saying, like, it was just amazing. It's an experience that is like no other whoever tell you don't um go to college at all like let that be the decision you want to make don't make the decision based off other family members or what you're hearing do what's best for you because at the end of the day they're not going to be the ones that are in college having to suck up to teachers having having stressful days when you want to give up they're not going to be the ones that have going to have to do with that you are going to have to deal with that so you make the decision for you but you can listen to them but at the end of the day your decision matters not what other people want you to do don't don't feel like anybody is forcing you to do anything do what you want to do do what will help you in the future do what will make you a better person don't do it because oh i'm following the crowd no don't follow you lead don't be a follower that's okay because if you lead right guess what you're gonna have people that's gonna follow you they might not follow you immediately but after a while they're gonna see where you ended up and where you're headed they're gonna come right along because they're gonna be like dang like I want to be like her. Like, she being great. She being successful. She being predominant. Like, she's being dominant versus everybody else. Like, that's good. It's sometimes it's just these generations, they're, like, trendy. They want to follow the trend instead of setting the trend. Like, set your own trend. You don't have to follow nobody. And I just hate that about this generation. But whatever school you decide to go to, if it is starting off at a state college, that's nothing. there's nothing wrong with a state college. Trust me, you'll be saving way more as much way more money than you would be coming to a university like like for real for real especially them two years the two first year two first years yeah you'll be saving a lot of money because university they run their pockets up my freshman year one semester was like thirty thousand but i was paying so much fucking money sorry for my language but i was paying so much money mm. stay away from um subsidized loans wait hold on hold on i i get them mixed up sometimes hold on hold on okay yeah Stay away from unsubsidized loans. Unsubsidized loans, you're going to get interest out the ass. But if you had to choose a loan, always go to subsidized because there's no interest. It's literally for you. Basically, you have to pay it back, of course, but there's no rush. Unsubsidized loans, as soon as you hop out of school, you have to start paying back or interest will hit you like this. When y'all have orientation for colleges, please go to them. And I didn't, I'm not going to say attend all of them because I didn't attend all the seminars. But financial aid, housing, meal plan, stuff like that, I attended. I missed a couple other things that I already, but I, it's because I knew the information. And if you don't know the information, there's no problem with, you know, ask me. 
anything with finances or housing or anything like that, I'm pretty sure our schools are kind of like whatever school you decide to go to. If it's not FAMU, if it is FAMU, ask me how many questions you want to ask because I'm going to be very, very honest with you. But if it's not and um, we're compatible, like if it's an HBCU or if it's like broad information or like basic information, like on dues and not dues, like loans and stuff, that's, that information is the same. Financial aid is the same. So I will help. Just drop the questions down in the comments below. I have no problem with helping you, guiding you, you know. You want to make sure that you just come in with your head on a swivel because when I came in for orientation, my usually your parents are supposed to come with you. My parents didn't come with me. My parents didn't come with me. They had to work, sadly. My mom is a nurse and my dad is an um, electrician. So their, their schedules are hectic. And I thank them for teaching me everything that they taught me and instilling a lot in me because I came up here. Everybody was like, where's your mom? Where's your I'm like, I'm here by myself, you know, but don't get it twisted. Like, I know you want, you know intimidate me or you want try to use me or think you're gonna get over on me because i'm not with my parents no no ma'am try again so if you do go to orientation without your parent know what you're doing and if you don't ask questions there's a dumb i think the dumbest question is always when you don't ask a question there's no such thing as a dumb question when you ask a question because it's a question and they're not most majority of the time when you ask something or when they tell you to ask a question Half of the people don't be want to ask the question, but as soon as you ask it, it'd be the question that they really wanted to ask, but they're too shy or too nervous, you know, to ask the question because they feel like they're going to look, be pointed at, oh, she's dumb. Why is that's an obvious question? When it's not an obvious question because a lot of other people be wanting to know the answer to that question as well. So, yeah, um, I mean, other than that, it's fun, you know, just be you. That's my thing. Just be you. Don't be anybody else don't follow you know lead and stay out of trouble and just make your parents proud you know do what you got to do this is the early stages of becoming an adult and i'm not gonna tell you uh, i'm gonna tell you this for sure once you move out your parents house you're not gonna want to go back i'm telling you now so you get to college do what the hell you gotta do no mess ups and if you do mess up get back up and dust yourself off and get with it get with the program you know, because nobody wants to move out and then have to move back into their parents' house. You know how that is, family talk and all that. So just all any decisions you make, make it because you want to make it. And um, if you guys want to get more personal and deep, like questions, blow my DMs up, you know, ask me under the comments and I'll make a part two video, you know, answering more questions. But that's really my overall thought on college and how it's doing with me. I'm, you know, I'm doing good. This coronavirus is kicking our ass. So we are currently taking online courses and they're, my teachers are giving me more work than they was giving me when I was actually physically in the classroom. But we're not gonna speak on that. We're taking classes on um, Zoom or whatever. And it's pretty decent. Um, I just don't like that. I don't like online classes. I'm a more of a hands-on you know, type of person, face-to-face -face type of learner. So, I mean, this is an adjustment that I'm having to make, but I'll be fine, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want a part two, just let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed your day. And you guys know what to do is check out time. Stay. Oop. Hold up. Hold up. If you guys are new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on so that you can be notified when I do anything on the channel. On the road to 200 subscribers. Run me up. Run me up. Run me up. Run me up. Just hit that button. Boop. Stop watching the video and subscribe. Boop. Just like that. You know, so stay self-made and not shelf-made. Bless beyond measure. Self-love. Peace. Bye, guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, excuse me. Bye, guys.